Hey, this is Drew Norman. We're going to show you how to do some different layout options and show you some more functionality with inside the WordPress content management system. So let's create a new page here. I'm going to just click Add New. We're going to add a title. We'll just call it um, Demo 2, Demo 1. And I'm going to also keep this as a default template. I'm going to add a featured image. So let's select um, something from my gallery here. Look at the size. Let's make something a little larger here. Let's go to find something bigger. There's a nice one. There is. That's nice. Nice. It's a nice width there. Select featured image. WordPress will automatically put this image at the top of your page. So I'll put in some Greek text here. Put in some copy. Put a headline in here. Let's change this to an H1 tag. This is the most important part of your page with the H1. So search engines look for this when they're um, searching your page. I've actually got um, a search engine plugin called uh, SEO by Yoast, which is one of the best SEO plugins. So this actually helps to optimize your pages. So you can see we've got a focus keyword. Um, so it already knows, you know, demo one is, is my page title. So it knows that's the, the um, key, um, key target word. So this may be another training tutorial, but this is a good thing to have. This is a plugin that I found. Um, some options you see down here, the slider that you see at the front page of the site on the home page is controlled here. That's actually called the elastic slider. So you can actually disable and enable slides or different. So we can actually put the, uh, the slider that you see on the home page. We can actually put it on this page if we wanted to. So we're going to do that right now. We'll just um, let's just create a simple image right now. We'll put it to the left. Click Add Media. Find an image. We'll select this thing here. Click Insert in the page. And see, it creates a nice wrap around. So let's go ahead and hit Publish. And this will not publish it. Anywhere that's visible to the public at this point, unless they know this URL right here. But just for this training, we're going to go ahead and click View Page and see how this looks. You can see we've got our featured image here. And then we placed another image down here in the body text. You now there's some formatting things we can fix here. We can see up here, we can quickly, quickly go to Edit Page and it will jump back into the editor so that we can tighten up some things here. Let's add a space there. Let's um, change this page to a full width page. Let's see what that looks like. Click view page. And you can see it makes the Featured image larger, and you can see it takes away that right sidebar. Headline font there. So let's go ahead and add the slider that you see on this home page. And this, this is called an elastic slider. You can kind of, it gets the name from the text that slides in. You kind of see all this text fades in here. Let's go ahead and. Uh, we're going to go back to our page and how we can get there. Let's go back to the dashboard. Click on Pages, All Pages. And our page should be at the top of the list. There it is. Click Edit. So let's add the slider that we see on the home page onto this page. So we can 
there's some options here in the page options you can hide the title bar show the title bar we're going to go ahead and select the group 2 flux slider oops um, no sorry it is the elastic slider so elastic slider group 1 And make sure to select the elastic slider here and group one there and then we should be set. Go ahead and hit update. View the page and you should see the slider at the top of our page. And there it is. That concludes the tutorial of how to create a new page and some of the options we have.